So go, good evening guys because it's evening right now in uh, in my place. So good evening. So today is I'll be uh, discussing to you my uh like two days ago learning learnings. So this is uh today's I'll show you uh, GitHub actions and how I sign my CI C I I mean just a CI because I didn't implement the deployment part. But you can create your deployment here. So let's start. This is the GitHub Actions. First is to your, I mean, to your repository. Example, this is the repository that I have made. So example in this one, the uh, MERN, I mean men only. So just click this tab here, the actions tab. Then there are many like templates, what you call these templates or uh yeah, templates or actions services that you can choose. Workflow. For example, this one is there's no node. And if you say example, let's look for a JavaScript uh, repo here. Mm, GraphQL. Okay, this is JavaScript. So let's try this one. Options. So this one, this I choose this one for the clean architecture. So when you click the setup. So there's a default uh, YAML file. That's this works uh, perfectly, but you have to uh, re re refactor it for your own uh, workflow. So this is what I have made for my clean architecture because this uh, API has uh, to test with the unit test and integration tests. So I need to run it before to before I can merge the code. So here is just the name. Then this on is where uh, the events. So I change, I, the default here is during push and pull request. So I remove the push event and left the pull request on the main branch, which is this, this branch is the main branch. Then I have only single job, the build job. I you can change this anything you want here. The build. So runs on Ubuntu latest, meaning you'll deploy a container with an Ubuntu inside latest version. So for the ENV, I just write the ENV here. Uh following this the ENV that I made for my API. So example for my integration test, if you want to access like the API, just put the localhost, the localhost. So for the strategy matrix node version is I use the latest uh, LTS version of node. Then I have one service, which is the Postgre database. So this is, uh, this is, uh, I, I get this in the official actions. Actions uh, page. So this example, uh, get uh, So this one, guys, I just copied it. Copied it. And then for the steps is the, the steps is will be the one the uh, where's that? So these are the steps guys, you will define this in your step uh, in the YAML file. So this one, the first is uses the actions checkout. Uh, for, the, for the discussion of this guys, I will put a card in the video. That's from Techworld Nana. This one guys, I will, she discusses it very well. I watch this video before I uh, do my own. Uh, GitHub Action CI. 
So it uses this this uh, syntax is for accessing and uh, this is a YAML syntax for accessing uh like a variable I guess what you call this in YAML. So matrix then node version so it uses that version and set up node node version yeah and cache and npm. So these are the steps. So npm install it will install the dependencies. The name is I mean this is the name then this is the command. So name is create the database then I used SQLize in my uh, clean architecture tutorial which I will add a card again here in the video. Then I use this command to create a database. Then run unit test. This is in my package JSON. Uh, this one. Then after running unit test, start the API for the integration testing. So npm start, then npm run i test. So let's see this in action. So let me just push something. Then oh, I changed the event to a pull request. This one. So let's create a branch. And, uh, I'm on the dev branch now. Then let's just console log here. And let's push. Dev. <clears throat> let's wait for it guys so now it's uh, successfully pushed in the repo so let's check here then let's create a pull request for our action to uh, to run go to merge test just do this test wait for request. So when you create a pull request, it will run the checking. So you can't merge your request if your checking has failed unit or integration test. So when we go here in our actions, actions, and this one, the dev, we made a pull request. Here it's running the tests now. I mean the CI. So this all happens in the GitHub servers. So you don't you don't have to worry about your servers. That's why it's very easy to use as a CI CD tool. So now it's a uh, it installs our dependencies and create a database we will check the logs afterwards so integration test is passed all and it will just uh, delete and stop the containers this is success successful so now we can create uh, i mean we can merge the request now to our main branch so let's merge Confirm merge. Then we can delete the dev branch if you want. So just leave it there. So when we check our dev, I mean our main branch, the console log must be there. Up the JS. There the test. So let's create. Let's push again with a fail test. So let's remove the console log. Move this and let's fail a test, the integration test. Just change the status to say 204. This will fail because the delete uh, employee will return a status of 200. So let's push. Move log and fail. Go back to the repo. So this won't be removed because the test it has failed your I mean it has failed your test. 
So let's create a pull request again. Uh, pull request. From our dev branch. So here is a remove then like that. So let's create pull request. Then here's we'll run uh checking. There's the test checking. So let's check in the actions. Remove log and failed test. So let's go back on the logs before uh after this test guys. I mean the CI this workflow. Let's let's just wait guys. Just quick. Guys, it failed because failed test. We'll stop. We'll just stop. But we have a failed. So go back here. So all check fails. We cannot merge this. Merging can be performed automatically. Maybe we can. I may, we can still, I guess, create pull request. But there's an error. So for our, you are the admin of the repo. You must not. Uh, merge this uh, pull request. So let's just uh, comment here. Fail test. Please check for the developer to check. So let's check our repo. Uh, so the test must. I mean the console log must be still be there this one so let's change the test to be successful then let's remove this i mean let's merge it so let's pass it Don't worry guys, I will fast forward all the the, uh, the running of the CI in the GitHub actions. So let's create pull request again. A new pull request. There's the change the status to 200. So let's uh, good. Let's go back. Wait for repairs. This one has failed. So this must be okay now. So let's check again in the actions. We'll fast forward it, guys. Then let's go to the lugs. So it is successful guys, so let's merge now. So let's go to our code. So the console log must be removed. I hope so. So it's gone. So let's go to the logs. So where is this? Just in payment install, so it's okay. Create a database. Here's the SQLize tool. Net us using a uh, DNV. So all passed. Here that's uh, npm start. Then here it's running in port 2001. And this, there's the error for failed uh, error scenario. Here's our test, which all passed. 
good. So that's for the GitHub Action CI guys. So and then the future I have free time again is I will add here the deployment part. I will both uh first bot buy an server. I will first buy a server in digital ocean for the deployment part. Would have the budget right now. So that's it guys. Hope you learned something new today and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. See you soon.